For 15 years, the National Endowment for the Arts has been awarding grants to promote music, dance, theater, and dozens of other art forms in America. This year, the independent federal agency will spend more than $158 million to help underwrite organizations as diverse as Washington's Corcoran Gallery of Art, the Dance Theater of Harlem, and Ballet West in Salt Lake City. President Carter had proposed a 1982 budget of $175 million, but then came Ronald Reagan. It's time to recognize that we've come to a turning point. We are threatened with an economic calamity of tremendous proportions. And that meant budget cuts. Budget director David Stockman has recommended cutting a whopping $89 million from the 82 art budget, a reduction of more than 50%. That figure shocked members of the National Arts Council meeting in Washington today. We're not frills or luxury. We are a necessity to the nation, the arts. And again, it's not, not a self-serving thing. No self-respecting nation uh, exists without them. For its part, the Reagan administration is expected to argue that human needs more basic than art must take priority in the new budget. President Reagan has earned a reputation as a supporter of the arts. But it could well be he believes most of that support should be private and not a basic function of the federal government. Steve Shepard, ABC News, Washington.